the fuck he's doing. Hey, he don't even, he just, he don't even aim, he just shoot. Hey, that's what your girlfriend says. Last hard day of sparring. Man, it's, um, you know, the big thing about today is to uh, apply, imply everything that we've worked on through camp. It's not about winning everything today. That's what you gotta remember, because I know it's getting close to the fight. You just wanna be perfect. You gotta be okay today, knowing that you use everything. You're thinking about everything. You know where to put them and when to use them and when not to use them. So we, uh, that's the good work today. As long as we're able to stay focused and do that and execute, just a check off the list, let you know that we're ready. March 2nd, we're coming. Chicken pox turn the base up just a notch. You see them blades chopping, chopping. you see that trunk popping. Hoes that diss me in the club, the same hoes in the parking lot bopping. They see me in the Jag, acting bad with T Ferris. Open mouth and showcase icing, you gon' see about 20 carats. I'm with the goo, you 159 in the Tahoe 124s. I'm the troop, I got they glow. I'm out this Swisher house with Archie Lee and Kuda Bang. Sitting sideways on Swain, the candy paint dripping off the frame. You see me acting bad, I'm showing out in the stunts. Say cheese and so my fronts is more carrots the bus when it's lunch. It's power wild, baby. I got it made, I got a cup full of that oil, and I'm paid. Plus, I'm sitting sideways. <laughs> Start. That's one. This is when you're the best, right here. That's Three, four, five. Down. This is when you're the best, every time. All this figures on the third round. Twenty-three-year-old guy quit. Oh, for the mental perspective of it, you know, to me, it's just another fight, but it's two more rounds, but a different quality opponent, obviously. He's got a couple of label on him as a champion and a belt with all that. Uh, I think I think these guys' mental preparation uh, builds over the years, not just for this camp. You know, so this is, this is kind of a kid that he's been in the ground since he was 10, 12 years old in wrestling. You know, and he, he's seen it. He's seen ups and downs and mind game and also physical game. And uh, I don't think uh, it, it will, to me it's just a different event, a five round fight, and a different name opponent. But also he holds a belt and uh, they call him a champion. But other than that, he can't let it get bigger than what it is, you know. Uh, I, never, I never found it useful to make it bigger than what it is. Oh, it's a title, it's a champion, this is this, that, you know. Uh, these are just uh, these are the the, the the stuff you're telling yourself to your mind, you know. But a guy like Kamaru is 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 definitely prepared. But this is not an eight weeks preparation. He's been probably for the past 20 years in his life mentally in being in a combat sport. I can't match this guy fresh. He got all. Is that one week away for a fight? I mean, I haven't seen anybody sparring this way. A week away for the fight, and that amount of training he scheduled. It's all in here. I think he has all in here, man. I've been training with him from the beginning that I came here, you know, 2011 or 12 was it. <laughs> Seeing this guy grow, he's, he's probably one of the most professional guys in our gym, and, uh, and we train him. We train him differently a little bit because it's of course it's a championship fight, it's five rounds. But we still train hard the same way we started and uh, if you see he gets just stronger every round. And it's also a big pleasure to work with somebody who doesn't complain about anything, just wants to get better every fight, you know. And, uh, again, we've been like seven years together now, so it'd be cool to, to crown that with a, with a belt because uh, yeah, he's a guy that he, he, he will be a great champion for the UFC. Family man, professional guy. Got a big, big continent behind him, you know. But overall, in the gym, he's one of our team captains. So uh, 
He's an easy guy to work with, but he's a beast. Amazing day. Not that I had a perfect day with my training, but amazing day as far as the energy. Because right now, it becomes more mental than, than physical. I've been putting in the work. I'm physically there. Now it's mental. I'm around my coaches. My coaches continue to pour wisdom into me, my teammates. We've been through the trenches together, and now they're just on my back. It's time for me to go out and make them proud now. You know, no pressure for me to just go out there and fight free, because they know what I'm capable of. If I go out there and execute the way I can, can nobody touch me. March 2nd, y'all better believe it, I'm coming.